Hi, it's Deb from Deb's Day's Designs, and I'm back today with another sewing tutorial. Today we're making these cute little bunny rabbit treat pouches. We'll make two different versions of this project. One will be made out of cardstock, and the other we'll make by printing on fabric. They're both fun ways to fill an Easter basket with candy or to create treat bags for those classroom parties. Before I get started, I publish new content frequently, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel or stop by the blog at debsdays.com to get the newest sewing project ideas. And check out my Etsy shop, Debs Days Designs. That's where you'll find a written version of this project with the materials list and cutting measurements, step-by-step -step written instructions, color photos, and the printable templates. My shop's also where you'll find my full collection of digital sewing and crafting patterns that you can download and print at home, making it easy to get started on your next sewing project today. I've added links in the description below this video. All right, let's get this project started. Along with your regular sewing supplies, for this project you'll need cardstock if you're making the paper version, and if you're making the version where we're going to print on fabric, you'll need some light colored fabric and freezer paper. You'll need fabric clips or pins. You'll need some copy paper or printer paper, an iron and ironing board, and a package of ribbon. And then for the paper version and the fabric version, you'll need your color printer, tape, and the printable bunnies template. Let's make the easy paper version first. Print your bunny templates onto cardstock and then place a piece of blank cardstock underneath the bunny template page. Then cut out squares around the bunnies. Tape a bunny and the blank piece of cardstock together. Stitch all around each bunny right on top of the outside lines, leaving a space open to add your treats. Be sure your needle's in the down position when you're pivoting at the points, and use a long stitch length to reduce the number of holes then use pinky shears or scissors to cut a quarter inch to half an inch outside your stitching lines. Use the opening to add candy or treats, and then stitch the opening closed. Super fast, huh? All right, now let's make the fabric treat bags. For these, you're gonna place one piece of fabric with the wrong side of the fabric facing up. Then center the freezer paper on top with the shiny side of the fabric facing down. Attach the freezer paper to the fabric by using your iron's high heat setting, no steam setting. Now this will be sent through the printer so it needs to be ironed well. Trim the freezer papered fabric piece to the standard 8.5 inches by 11 inches. I like to use a blank piece of paper to get the correct measurement. Now to make the fabric feed through the printer easier, you may find you want to tape the freezer paper to another sheet of printer paper, and then insert the stack into the printer and print the template directly onto the fabric side. Be sure you know which side your printer is going to print, and you might want to stay close, as you might need to provide a little bit of assistance to the paper to get it through. Let the ink set for a few minutes, and then carefully separate the fabric from the freezer paper. Place the other piece of light colored fabric with the right side of the fabric facing down. Center the printed bunnies fabric on top and rough cut rectangles around the bunnies. Stitch all around each bunny right on top of the outside lines, leaving the space between the ears open to add your treats or candy. Depending on the size of your candies, you may need to leave some of the extra space on the ears open as well. Then use pinking shears or scissors to cut a quarter inch to half an inch outside the stitching lines. Use the opening to add candy and treats, and then cut the ribbon into 12 inch lengths, center the ears over the midpoint of the ribbon, tie a bow, and adjust the ears. And just like that, just that fast, you have some bunny rabbit treat pouches made from paper or from fabric. If you'd like to see more projects like this one, check out some of my other video tutorials. See you next time with another project.